Today we're taking a look at an insane 4K projector for movies, TV and gaming and that's coming up right after this. So today we're taking a look at the XJimmy Horizon Pro, a 4K projector that really does it all. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of projectors and let me know in the comments who out there uses one and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future. So full disclosure before we start the video, it is sponsored by XJimmy and they've sent me this projector for free to review for you guys but of course that doesn't change my opinions. The XJimmy Horizon Pro is a 4K projector that's pretty much suitable for any situation given its ease of use, bright image and pretty decent speakers built in. It's packed full of plenty automatic features that saves you having to configure settings manually and it comes with Android 10 making it pretty much a media center in itself. When we first turn on the device, thanks to Android 10, setup could not be any easier. You can set it up on the device itself or if you've got an Android device already, you can sync with that and it automatically configures your Wi-Fi password along with all the apps you want to carry over. The projector comes with 24GB of usable storage, so plenty of space for all of your media applications. Now the XJimmy Horizon Pro is a true 4K projector with a native resolution of 3840 x 2160 and MEMC motion technology. It's got a 2200 ANSI lumen brightness and it's got a lamp life of 25,000 hours. It can produce up to a 300 inch screen in crisp detail and can even produce the sound to match thanks to two 8 watt Harman Kardon speakers. Once you start it up, it's going to automatically focus the projector thanks to the sensor we have on the front and this has worked perfectly for me every single time. If we start with the projector settings, the first option is keystone correction. And this is of course to make the display straight and fit within your screen if it's mounted at an awkward angle. Just press the automatic keystone correction and it's going to automatically straighten it out. And in my testing, this did work most of the time, but a couple of times it had issues. Of course, if something goes wrong or it's just not quite right, you can then manually refine this to make it in the right position. When it comes to projectors though, it's always preferable not not to use keystone correction if you don't have to is anytime you're reducing the screen you're actually losing pixels. Next we can select from different image modes from movie, football, office game to custom so you can pick a profile that suits. The custom option also gives full control over all the settings we need including color temperature which also has another custom option so for those of you that want to you can really fine tune these colors. The image setting is also where you can set the level of motion compensation if you're watching something with a low frame rate and you want it to look smoother. Now next up we've got the sound option and the Horizon Pro does support DTS for those who need it and we can also choose whether we want to use the internal speakers, SPDIF or use ARC. If we now head into all settings, you've got the standard Android 10 settings under device preferences where you can set up all your usual Android settings like apps, keyboard and assistant settings, but if we go into projector settings we can continue to set this up. So first of all it's brightness, we can choose to turn environmental adaption on which just basically automatically sets the brightness based on the ambient light in the room or we can choose from standard bright eye protection performance or custom. Now custom allows you to set the brightness as well as the colors but personally I've just had this set to bright and left it there at all times. Keystone corrections we've already covered, so next is the focus settings. You get a choice of autofocus on startup and autofocus on motion. Now both great features, but I personally just have autofocus on startup. If you need to move it for any reason, there's a focus button on the remote control. You simply press it once and it will sort out the focus. Now next is the projector placement, so you can set it up whether it's front or rear and if it's on the ceiling or the floor. One thing to say about the Horizon Pro is that it doesn't have any leveling feet on the projector itself. So really, you need to mount this on a projector mount or a tripod. That being said, if you do place it on the table and it isn't quite level, you can correct the keystones as we covered earlier. Finally, in others, we've got HDMI control if you want other devices to be able to turn on the projector, gyro calibration and focus and keystone calibration. And this is for those of you that want to do it manually. So with all the settings covered, we're going to go into the projector. And as I said, it's a 2200 ANSI lumens and it is a true 4K resolution. The picture looks great, it's crisp 4K and thanks to the 2200 ANSI lumens, it's definitely bright enough. Most of you have probably used Android TV before, but if not, then it is easy and intuitive, so it shouldn't take you long to find what you need. And of course, you've got access to Google's Play Store to get whatever apps you want. 
It also runs very well in Android 10. Many other media centers I've used in the past can be a little bit laggy and sluggish when it comes to Android TV, but the Horizon 4K Pro is fast and snappy when navigating Android. The remote that comes with the projector is also a pretty decent one as well. It's easy to use and it also supports voice commands. We've got the power buttons, setting buttons, Google Voice, up, down, left, right and select, back, menu home, then minus and plus for the volumes, followed by the focus button at the bottom. So all the buttons we need in a pretty stylish remote. It feels premium and reasonably solid for a remote and it takes two AAA batteries. The projector itself also has touch capacitive buttons on the top so we can change the volume along with a play and a power button. The projector is a box shaped design and it's got an aluminium mesh all around the sides with a matte black finish on the plastic top and bottom. When it comes to the connections we've got the power input, optical out, two USB ports and two HDMI ports, we've got an ethernet port, a 3.5mm jack and it also supports both Chromecast and AirPlay. When it comes to using the Horizon Pro it's blown me away with what a clear, bright and colourful image it produces, even with daylight. The 2200 ANSI Lumens is definitely bright enough to enjoy all content, whether it be movie night or just watching TV or gaming, and it supports HDR10 as well as HRG. For those of you concerned about DRM, it also supports CENC ClearKey, Google's Widevine Level 1, and Microsoft Playback Ready DRM, so it's all good there. We've got access to the Google Play Store thanks to Android 10, and if we open up YouTube to check out some 4K footage, you can see how detailed and colourful it is. Even in daylight, this thing produces enough brightness to watch, although projectors are, of course, always much better in darkness. The internal speakers also give a good sound and go far louder than I would ever need them to. Although most people tend to use external speaker systems with projectors, it's great to have this option for when you do need it. For what they are, they produce a good sound. Of course, it's not to the level an external sound system would give you, but it's good enough if you do need it for the portability. I'm using this on a plain white wall, so not even a projector screen, and it looks incredible in a dark room and even holds its own when in daylight, although the biggest issue in daylight is always going to be blacks, and whatever projector you get, it's never going to be able to produce blacks in daylight. The colors look great and true to life, and it's great to see such good performance in all areas. Whether it be 4K content or 1080p, it just all looks incredible. This is by far the best projector that I've ever reviewed, and it's just a pleasure to watch. Of course, we can also plug in other devices into this projector, one of the most popular choices is always going to be a games console or a PC. I plugged in the Xbox Series X and I've been very impressed with the results. As we covered earlier, the Horizon Pro does have a specific game mode, so I switched to that and it looks fantastic. An area where a lot of projectors do fail is the gaming, but on the Horizon Pro we get a 35 millisecond latency, which is fast enough for casual gaming. I've used it to play a variety of games on the Xbox, from FIFA to Forza, and it's just been incredible on all games. It's a 60Hz projector so we can play 4K at 60Hz and the response time feels fast and fluid to me and I usually game on a 1 millisecond monitor. For casual gaming on a console the Horizon Pro is just a pleasure and thanks to the Harman Kardon sound system we can even use the built-in speakers and still get a great immersive experience. Now one thing I would say if you're a PC gamer and you want that 1 millisecond response time for competitive first person shooters it probably won't be the best choice but for all console games gaming, it's a lot more casual, and 35 milliseconds I don't even notice. So overall, I highly recommend the Horizon Pro for those of you looking for that home theatre system that does it all. Everything has been great on this, to the point where I don't really have anything bad to say at all. The only downsides I can say is that it would just be nice to have some levelling feet on the projector itself for those that want to use it on a table, and for some reason the Netflix app is currently not working on Android TV OS, even though it is meeting all of the DRM requirements. That's something that can easily be fixed in a software update, and I hope that is fixed soon, but of course, if it's not working now, then I can't guarantee that. So for those of you that want to take a look, I've placed the links down in the description below, and they're currently selling it for $1,699, but it comes with a free stand. While the price is relatively high, you have to remember this is a premium projector, and it's good value given its specs, quality, and the incredible picture it produces. It's definitely a premium product, but it does live up to the expectations, and I certainly cannot wait to get this set up properly with a projector screen. So that's pretty much it for today's video, but if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions, 
questions, then just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.